All right, guys, it's Monday and we are back for another week. I hope all of you had an amazing weekend um, and are ready for another week ahead. All right, first thing, subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up on this video. It really help us to expand the knowledge and you know share this video as well with your friends. Second, don't forget, we're gonna have my um, webinar tomorrow, Tuesday, every Tuesday um, from 6 to 7 p.m. on Sydney time, all right? Uh, it's free, zero dollars, no charge, and it will be very helpful, I guarantee you that, all right? Um, lots of knowledge, lots of sharing, you know, um, knowledge with everyone, and I kind of miss it because we hadn't had one um, last week, so we had the, the gala dinner here at ACY, so I was, you know, busy on that um, event. But now, um, be ready for tomorrow. The way you can uh, register for this is just go down here on the description of the video, um, click on the link, go to acy.com.au, uh, or you know you can just go to acy.com.au, go to learn and then webinars and register for my webinar. All right, we do have other webinars as well that you may participate. But uh, let's go. What I want to talk today. First thing, gold has opened the market this morning, Monday, um, up two percent. All right, so it was a very strong move. Um, you guys can see on the chart here, got to have been up um, 2% this morning. Um, the reason being is it's kind of, you know, I think everyone is knowing what is happening um, on the Red Sea. Uh, there's a bit of a tension. I I'm not gonna go too deep into it um, because, you know, it's just a tension yet, but there are things happening, all right? I will um, disclose more. I will talk to you guys more about that tomorrow on my webinar, as well we give a little bit more room to the things happen in a sense, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so the main, um, the main reason why gold moved it up is because of this tension now, um, so investors are seeking safe heavens, all right? Um, especially the gold. Um, as always, gold will be a safe heaven. This is, you know, they teach, us, uh, they teach this on universities, they teach this on everywhere. Gold will always be a safe heaven because it's a safe asset. All right, anyway, so if you wanna know the whole story behind it, I'm gonna disclose it tomorrow on my webinar. So be sure to register. Anyways, so just let's go um, a week ahead here. Let's run down through the news we're gonna have this week, all right? Opening up the calendar, we did have this Monday the retail sales. Um, it came as expected for Australia. But tomorrow we're gonna have the interest rate decisions for Australia, all right? Um, when we see we just had the retail sales, it came negative 0.2%, okay? Um, when you have a retail sales negative, it means that, you know, society, population from Australia are not um, spending money. So that means that they are kind of saving. But that's quite interesting because this is month of a month. So this is from last month. I thought it would be a bit higher, but maybe the people haven't been spending money yet because of the Christmas. So they may be saving up to buy gifts and, you know, presents and uh, food and everything for their family and friends. Maybe we're gonna have a higher retail sales on December. So you may expect the data from January from December to be higher. All right, but anyway, so um, I guess we will have a pause on the RBA tomorrow. All right, so the market, it is expecting a 4.35%. So previous was 4.35%. Um, so basically no rate hikes for tomorrow. And then of course, we're gonna have the RBA rate statements. On Wednesday, we're gonna have the services as well as the um, non-farm, non-manufacturing PMI and job openings from US. All right, so very important there. Um, we're gonna have as well the GDP year over year for Australia. Uh, on Thursday, we're gonna have the ADP for US and as well uh, the Bank of Canada interest rates decision. That is most likely a pause, okay? They've been a little bit um, hawkish on this statement, um, but it didn't have any surprise on the data. So um, it all makes me think that they will keep pausing, all right? So they will pause at 5%. 
again. And then on Friday, we're going to have the GDP from Japan. We're going to have the German CPI. Remember, guys, what I've talked to you last week. German has a big take of Europe. So it is very important that we watch those data from German as well. Not only the whole Europe, but German as well. OK, and of course, we're going to have the um, NFP. Uh, the, sorry, not the NFP, the initial jobless claims. And as well on Saturday, because, you know, it's going to be after midnight, we're going to have the NFP for US. All right. So pay attention on those data. I'm going to grab a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm going to make some calls, call some friends, see what they're thinking. And then, of course, we'll always try to bring the best content here for you guys. All right, so this is all from me today. Um, hopefully I can see all of you um, tomorrow on my webinar. As well, we can, uh, you know, having a very good, we are having a very community on the Telegram. So I'm gonna post some photos here. You guys can see the screenshots. These are all from um, our Telegram. All right, guys, so make sure to subscribe to her channel, give us a thumbs up on this video, and I see you tomorrow on my webinar.